Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Crafters TV. I'm Leanne Chivers and I'm going to be with you for the next two hours. We are continuing our fabulous spring sale for you. We've got some phenomenal deals coming up um, and a good few demos too, actually. And I'm not alone. I am with, and I say this every time, and I mean it, it's genuine, it's from the heart. One of the best crafters I've ever had the pleasure of knowing and one of the nicest people you would ever have the pleasure of meeting. And with the absolutely gorgeous Debbie Robinson today. Yay! And do you know what I'm loving? It's been ages, Leanne. I feel <gasps> it's like it's been a lifetime long. since we last worked together, so I'm really excited for this one. I love a good craft vault because I love a bargain. Yeah, I am too. a bargain girl. I like to go hunting for those bargains so this one's right up my street um, but I thought let's let's throw in some inspirational demos at the same time because you want to see how to use these we might bring you these fabulous prices but you want to see how to use them so I thought let's have a little play during this show as well and then to boot I've got you which is just amazing so um, Ben if you're watching I do love you but it is really lovely to be working with a legend that is Miss Leanne Chivers Oh, thank you, Debbie. I mean, honestly, it's just lovely to get to see. We don't see each other enough, do we? I'm stuck in my little Harry Potter cupboard, making new things all the time. Not often they let me out. There's a long key. I feel like somebody needs to give me a sock and a book to free me. I'm a bit like Dobby the house elf. Um, and then when I do get out over here, I just have the best time and I get to meet my friends, which is brilliant. And I get to spend two hours with you. Now, let me just tell you that the items we've got for you in our spring sale today, the bundles that we have for you are cheaper than the individual options on the website. So as Debbie said, it's definitely the time for you to be shopping. If you're looking for some of the things that we've got here for you, grab a few bargains. I'm like you, Debbie. I like to go to sales and I always shop in a sale. It's very rare that I buy anything full price the first time round because I feel like my pennies can go further if I'm saving. I can spend to my budget, but I can get more for that money. And that, that's what we're going to give you the opportunity for in the next two hours that we're here, along with some inspiration from Debbie. Now, the first thing I've got for you is these fabulous totes. We launched these in birthday week in October um, when we had that wild at heart theme. And I have to say, you have loved this raspberry cheetah print. I know we've got some of our uh, guests here were buying am i getting these in the right way there we are debbie have you got a raspberry cheetah uh yeah if Dex. i had to say <laughs> if i had to say there was a tote bag come on you get it out debbie see. you want me to go and get it come on whip your tote out where is it <laughs> go on she's gone to get I'll it i'll go and grab it i'll grab go and your grab tote, it debbie <laughs> if there were some tote bags that epitomized our debbie um it would be these would it not they're gorgeous it really is a lovely bright pop of pink i love a bit of animal print as well and you're getting all three of the tote bags that you can see here now i was just about to say to you <laughs> they're capacious <laughs> Which means, Ben loves that word, you can get a lot in it. Well, you can. What? <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, I didn't think we'd be doing this There's in front of you. There's an empty the front pet. <laughs> <laughs> It's jam-packed full, it. and I mean jam-packed full, and don't forget you've got that lovely spate at the back. Oh, look, you're showing all my bits. Look, no, don't, look, don't show, don't show anything. Let me hide it. But it is, it is capacious. It is full. It's full to the brim because I kind of just, in my defence, Your Honour. <laughs> oh, God, I've gone beer and red. <laughs> um, I do craft a lot away from home. Yes. So, although I may have things from the craft room, I don't want to keep filling my craft. No. I want to keep taking things out, so I've got my own craft little, or what I call, on the go. It's your portable on the go. It is. Stuff. And I know that I've got everything in there that I need. So, like today, when we finish this show, I'm going back to the house. I've yep. got all my prep to do for the new launch on Wednesday. I know that I've got every single bit of right. tool kit that I need in there. So, when we say well. capacious, Leanne is absolutely right. Um, yours will not look like this. <clears throat> We could not... Actually, though, Leanne, can we just show you? Yeah. This is the strength of the handles. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's also a good point. The, the handles have got fantastic rivets in them, and it'll take a lot of weight. Um, look, I love the fact that Debbie's been able to show you that, because they are capacious, and you can get a lot in them. What I will say as well, the insides are very versatile, because they're all Velcroed. So, actually, if you wanted to make this just one space, you can take these inserts out inside, 
and fold those back. And actually, I use this in my crochet, and I've got all of my balls of yarn in there. I pull the yarn from the centre, and then I've got all of my scissors and hooks, etc. So this is multi-craft as well as paper craft, and it's got a lot of versatility as well as all of those pockets around the outside. That's just one of them. And can I say as well, if you're taking your midi or your junior anywhere with you, when you've got the inserts out, your junior, Gemini junior and your midi and your mini all fit inside that bag. So there's lots of different things you can put in there. You've then got this grab tote. Um, my husband stole mine. I've told you this before. It's in the garage with all these bike tools in. How dare he? It's, it's full of spanners and lever gears and bike lube and silicon spray and whatever else it is that he does that's magical in that garage with these mountain bikes um but he uses it for that because apparently it's incredibly useful with all of the pockets in it debbie exactly. so i did have a craft bag like this i no longer do but my husband uses it in the in the garage with all of his bike stuff in and then we've got the smaller one here i love this as a desktop option you can keep all of the little things that you want to get to and actually i use mine this little bit here i use this as like a little desktop bin craft storage rubbish trash can I have um, idea yeah. and i put all of my little bits in i've got my tools where i need it i just put them in and then every couple of weeks or so when it gets to the top i put it all in the recycling bin because i just put the recycling stuff in there I like and that. it just really makes it easy mm. um, to use you can use it however you like you're getting all three of them platinum price 46 40 or 56 pounds today you're saving 33 percent and getting the bundle like this, you're getting them cheaper than they would be individually on our website. They're a great, great option. Uh, and we've definitely seen how useful they are with our Debbie's <laughs> extremely beautifully organised tote bag that she had over there. Woman after my own heart. Everything gets crashed in and then I find it later or try to. Or then buy another thing because I can't find it. I'm sure, you, I'm sure yours will be more organised. Debbie, what have you got over there for us, love? Oh, they do it to me every time, Leanne. They do it to me every time. That was the messiest it's been in a long time. So I'm mortified the fact that we're in front of you. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to bring for you. And I'm going to bring what we all need in our craft rooms, which is essential cardstock and envelopes because that's what you guys, I mean, I, I tell you all the time, you can go and make your own card blanks, you can go and make your own envelopes, but I get it, we don't always have the time to do that. And if you've got a lot of cards that you want to make, then this is gonna be the deal for you because not only, and I'm gonna show you, one of, one of the packs has got missing, but you're gonna get 300, let's just put that into terms, 300 cards and envelopes. Um, absolutely incredible. Now, when I say 300, if I remember rightly, it's 50 of each. So, you have got the pastels. Now, the pastels come into you in the A6 size, which is literally six by four, but the pastels, oh, Leanne, these are just beautiful, these, absolutely gorgeous. And because it's not like a white blank, it's all the way through the cardstock and the matching envelope. So, you've got that beautiful lilac, that beautiful blue, oh, such a spring-like color, that gorgeous uh, green, the really stunning pink one as well that is oh, absolutely beautiful Debbie. and Ooh. then i shouldn't have a favorite but i have because i do love a bit of lemon I and love this is lemon. yeah it just gives such, such zest and such it's just a beautiful color it to is. be fair they're all beautiful That's so the you're going to my get walls in my conservatory have you really yeah well, that is exactly the color of my walls in my conservatory and um i've kept the paint coat because it's now no longer available and i have to get it mixed to that Every colour. time you go, oh. Because I love it so much. It and is. I just it is. the same it's, colour again. It's a bright, cheerful, it's it, like it makes me feel alive and makes me feel really refreshed, Fresh. that gorgeous yeah. colour. So that's your pastel selection that you're getting. Now, there is also, as well, so 100 pieces means 50 because it's 50 envelopes, 50 card blanks. And we've got the black option with a white envelope as well. So that's another great one there. So you're going to get 50 of those. And the other one, which I don't have a sample of, um, but you can see where we're going ivory and you're going to have 50 of the ivory in this particular size along with the matching envelopes as well so in total that's 150 cards 300 pieces 150 cards and 150 envelopes which i just think is phenomenal because hello look at the price on the screen <gasps> 15 pounds or 19 dollars before you take off your club inspire look what you're going to go down to 12 pounds 
if you're in the UK in Club Inspire or brand new today, if you're signing up, don't forget, take advantage of $15.20. What a bargain for those must-have craft room essentials <coughs> that we all need in our lives. I absolutely love those. The colours on those are incredibly fresh. That is a steal. I wonder if the big calculator in the sky could do a per-piece price for me it was so, so. 25 cards or was it 50 cards 150 cards in total <gasps> because it's 150 cards with 150 matching envelopes you don't have to do any measurements you don't have to do any scoring everything's cards. done for you and the envelopes to boot as well and the quality of those is great the quality is beautiful yeah and what's the weight of the card stock oh that's a good question i'm, I'm sure it's check. you know I, because just tell me i'm nice pretty sure to know that and then the 250 exactly that's what i thought but i didn't want to say because i didn't know if my memory was working perfectly <laughs> 250 GSM, that means no giraffe legs, loaded up with embellishments if that's what you want to do. And can I say those envelopes are not see-through? No. Now, when you buy a big pack of cards with value like that, um, I have done that in the past, and my envelopes, you've almost mm. been able to see what's inside the envelope when you send it. Our envelopes are at least 150 GSM in the paperweight, which means that you cannot see through it either. So it contributes to everything just feeling quality, yes. isn't it, Debbie? That's Absolutely. the thing. Have we got an answer? We want to say eight pence. I'm going to do my calculator. Hang on. <laughs> I feel I need to tell you because I just feel the deal is too good. Well, if you were doing the deal, you would you would divide well you would divide it by the full quantity, which is three hundred. Yeah. That's how you would do it, and then you can work out the price per thing, per and thing. then you can add and the two together. Two. Yeah. So uh, what was the about twelve pounds? We'll do that for a start for ten. Twelve. And when you divide it by three hundred, that's pence. you're right. And you see our lovely Nicola. Eight pence per card and Can envelope. you almost hear the fist pump in the air then? Can you yes, almost hear it? I could hear that through my was, ear. She was so happy with poof. Come on, Nicola. Um, that's not eight pence for a card, eight pence for an envelope. That is to send a card and envelope, eight pence, four pence per item. How incredible is that? Absolutely. I need to do the dollars. This is so good. I know, yeah. My word. This is what we mean about our Easter sit our Easter spring sale. Absolutely incredible. Let me just do 1520. I'm glad you're doing it. Because I won't know, I won't even know how to do that one. A lovely and serious face. Ten <laughs> cents. For both. Wow. I feel if I had a microphone, drop, mic drop. I would drop it because the colours of those are incredible. The quality is exceptional. 250 GSM, 150 on the envelope. Debbie, that has to be the steal of the day. This is when I buy two or three of something, Debbie. Yes, absolutely. Because those colours are never going out of fashion. They're not a trend colour. They're a lovely core pastel range that are going to be appropriate now through all of the seasons, all of the years, for all of the people. So I would definitely be bull bike and I'd be getting two as a minimum, but you choose. And then we've got this brilliant deal for you. Can I say, um, this bundle, if you're getting the bundle that Debbie's just shown you with those amazing cards, is gonna be perfect because this is our Easter collection that we've got for you here. Now, you're getting all of the things, it, co it comes around once a year, it changes time. We never know when it's gonna land. That always confuses me. Why does it change? I, I understand why, because I've read the reasons why. But it comes around once a year. Sometimes it's early April, sometimes it's late March, sometimes it's the middle of April. But you need an Easter collection in your life. However, I've got a little caveat for you. We're calling this an Easter collection, but actually when I look through it, there's nothing overtly Easter other than the sentiments. There are ways these can be used mm. for other seasons Absolutely. and other occasions. Example with this one, joy. Just don't use the Easter sentiment, beautiful wedding card. Yeah. Joy had been engaged, joy, joy had been christened, joy had been married. There are so many different ways you could use it. Yeah. If you've got a friend called Joy, she's going to be thrilled that you've given her a card <laughs> with her name on. I've got a friend called Joy. Uh, and can make a card with her name on. So that's the first stamp that you've got there. Then we've got this truly beautiful oh. creator card. It's probably one of my very favourites. Look at <gasps> that cut in the lemon card. You know, I was just stock. gonna say the same. That oh, that one Nicola that. Was that. Idea. We have to give her that idea. Isn't yeah, just straight good? into your card. Um, now there are two dies here. There's the cut in and the cut out, which means that you can cut it in to the front of a card here as a creator card, or you can use both dies together, cut it out as a panel that overlays. Now, there's nothing that says Easter there. 
Nothing at all. That could be sympathy, mm -hmm. it could be wedding, wedding, it could be christening, yep. it could be faith-based occasions yep. like a Holy Communion yep. or a confirmation. It could be so many things. It could just be I'm thinking of you. I'm yeah. sending you some love and some blessings and some getting some you know some wishes your way you're going through a tough time this is from me so that is an all year round creator card for me and you're getting all of these by the way for 16 pounds or 24 dollars your platinum price which is exceptional uh, and i do believe what is the saving on this over 55 percent the saving on this bundle which is phenomenal isn't it so you're getting that creator card can i just say good size that's going to do your a2 in the us and your a6 here in the uk and then this one here another but different style and i love this because this is a little more celtic yes isn't it mm, so yeah definitely actually, that is birthday it's just any occasion all year round because it just feels like a lovely celtic cross it doesn't have to be specifically sympathy or whatever it is it's just you know beautiful design depending on how you color it in fantastic for paper piecing you've got the two dies again where you've got the outer and the inner so you can have it as the creator card and look the cross is also separate so you can have that as an aperture you can layer it up or you can do it as a full panel so many ways and again this is appropriate for your a2 in the us and your a6 here in the uk this one is a bit easter right but it's my favorite it's just, i love that because i did the craft a, along with this one it really is lovely it's an egg-shaped aperture mm. with the little bunnies in yeah okay, it's but just however, so cute the foliage is beautiful new baby card debbie yeah new yeah. eggs new beginnings new hatchings the egg works for that doesn't it doesn't just have to be for easter actually take the little bunnies out that shape decorated up with some florals just a beautiful aperture in a card with that foliage doesn't have to be just easter so i think the way you look at things the way you interpret them the way you use them going to be so many different ways so don't think oh we've just had easter i don't need it actually a year's worth of crafting with all of the designs in here you're getting one two three three full creator cards i'm not listening to nicola oh nicola <laughs> <laughs> she's the bearer of bad news and the joy and we're getting these <coughs> sentiments which are easter based they're going to be brilliant for you next year but look the joy and the three full creator cards that you're getting in here it is exceptional or exceptional you could say Ooh. i mean i've got to try and fill in for ben when he's not here haven't i um nicola's got bad news i was ignoring her there are only 34 of this bundle less left. There's the maximum stock we've got. Oh, the maximum stock we've got is 34 for that bundle. So if you like it, if you like some of the ideas we've talked about there, then um, get shopping. And I agree with Nicola. I think that's when it's gone, it's gone. I don't think we're going to be bringing that back. Look at some of these. These are beautiful. Now, I want you to not look at the Easter type sentiments. These are just beautiful, whether uh, you know whether you use them for Easter or not. Imagine that Easter joy coming off. You will have another set, the word Easter off. You will have another sentiment with wedding on in your stash, I've no doubt, yeah. or engagement yeah, or whatever. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? Sometimes I don't think you need to qualify what the joy is about. Just leave that off. It's just joy. Yeah. Joy is the gift of life. Joy of being around. Joy of whatever. Joy of the fact that I'm going shopping at the weekend. Joy that I'm going to be drinking cocktails on a Saturday. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the joy is. It's joyful. That's the point here. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Can you tell I'm feeling any like a cocktail weekend in my life? That's because I've had a three-year-old and a two-year-old for three nights. And I'm just genuinely exhausted. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fib. If they're not eating, they're pooping. No. Or they're getting into mischief. Yes. Um, there's, that's kind of how the weekend's been. Uh, but it's been glorious. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's I the really, joy really of being it. a nanan -nan or it's a grandma. Are you a grandma or a nanan? -nan? I'm a grandma. And I'm a nanan. -nan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the joy of being a nanan -nan or a grandma. It really is. It's gorgeous. It's just, it is joyful. It really mm. is, Debbie. It's just the best job in the and world. And it brings so much joy. They do. Yeah. All of the joy, especially when they come and sit up beside you on the sofa, put their little arm, little chubby arm around your neck and say, Mama, woof you. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm like, I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> uh, there's so many lovely ways in there. But look, that's the kind of 
heartfelt sentiment a beautiful collection like this can invoke and i think that is a brilliant collection having all of those creator cards in there it is limited there's only the 34 left if you do feel like you need this in your life you need to move quickly Debbie, we're coming back over to you. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm, gonna, I'm a little bit shocked that it's here. This one's here, this deal. Um, especially as Leanne's in the building, Nicola. Have you gone mad? So I'm just, I'm just <laughs> going to put it out there right now. Because we didn't launch these that long ago. And they're in the craft vault at an amazing price. Every day off. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> really? Every day half creator cards. Or as I like to affectionately call them, they're the hybrid between an edible and a creator card all in one. They are. I love these. These are big, solid dies. Perfect for paper piecing, perfect for just cutting out that silhouette. Lots of lovely techniques that you're going to do with these. But that off creator card element is the fact that you've got that edgeable factor there with the top, the top and the bottom that cuts in and cuts out in one pass of your machine, which creates a card absolutely instantly because this is the kind of thing that you can be doing. And that is why I absolutely love these. And I love this one. Shows a perfect example of how you can use it either way to be honest whichever way you want to use that uh, but Alison's done it this way and I just think that's absolutely fabulous and then again popping at the background um, a more solid piece so that you can create that lovely coloured in image absolutely stunning now we've got the cross in this one completely different to what you've just seen but very big these are really generous sized dies and look at the detail in each and every single one of them that i'm showing you i absolutely love the celtic cross it's just a beauty and again so many different occasions that you're going to be able to use this and so many different ways that you can use it as well because this is where the half part of the creator card comes in where it cuts into that card stock to create the card instantly and then just a colored front and take any of your colored mediums yeah. uh, cut it out again into some cardstock and overlay mm. it that's mm. what you can do so again absolutely phenomenal now shouldn't have a favorite but i do love this one love is in the air yes it is oh my god <laughs> i just lovely, love this isn't it? i'm going to show the sample because although the board is fabulous and you can see just how fantastic it is in that silhouette look at that that is just beautiful and i love this little couple and it has been pointed out that if you just wanted a little family tree you just snip out the couple snip out the bike and you've got another different way that you can use that die as well mm -hmm. so i absolutely love these so much so I'm going to play with them. But oh, are you doing a demo? Oh, you can, I you have. I've got loads of comments coming in, Debbie. Well, that's good because I'll just tell you price first of all. £45 or $53, but you're taking into account the Club Inspire membership that you're at. Lowest you'll go to today is £36 for three fabulous size dies and $42.40, which I did say to you, I'm surprised we've got them here, especially as our lovely Liana's with us. Well, do you know what I didn't know? Nobody obviously didn't know I was going to be presenting the show, did it? But you know what I say? Make hay while the sun shines. So if there's that deal, why wouldn't you go for it? Exactly. 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 Now, we have got a ridiculous amount of you joining in and sending comments, so I'm thrilled. Let me just give some shout-outs. Let's see where I'm at. Have I gone past... Is the truly this minute I'm scrolling, scrolling. It's like when you get to... Uh, well, you, Debbie, when you get to our age, you have to put your date of birth in. Honestly, you think... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anything you feel gonna, really old. If anything's going to make you feel really old, it's the wrist strain you get <laughs> from having to scroll <laughs> to your year of birth. Do you know what I mean? It, it is. really is. Honestly, it's like a roulette. <laughs> That's how I felt there with those comments. For a minute, I had a little deja vu with putting my date of birth in on a shopping website. Honestly, anyway, oh, maybe it. not for all of you, but for me, that's what's happening of late. <laughs> um, so many of you joining us. We've got Lynn Harvey with us here today. We've got Cindy Rossi Richmond. Hello, Cindy from Massachusetts. I always want to sing in the style of the Bee Gees for that, but anyway, I won't. Sandra Peake. Hello, Sandra. We've got Carolyn Wilson, Christine Baker, Handcrafted by Gaz, Betty Gozzle, Zoe Carver, Odds 10, Marcella Coetto. I hope I've said your name right. Dawn Lavalli. Oh my word, so many of you. Thank you for joining Mary Beth's with us as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Lynette says, my storage bag looks exactly like yours, Debbie. <laughs> it's in the craft room and I carry it everywhere. Oh, good for dear. you, Lynette. Um, Christine Mahoney says, good morning, everyone. Hello, Christine. Uh, and she wants to know, Debbie, is the kitchen sink in that bag? <laughs> uh, quite literally. <laughs> quite literally, Christine. Um, now, Susie says, wait. You get all three of those bags for that price? 
Yes, indeed you do, Susie. Um, and Maricel is loving the card blank bundle. She yes. thinks those cards are absolutely great, especially if you're doing some of your fancy folds as well, because you can afford to be generous using can. a couple when you're only paying four pence a piece. Eight pence, exactly. Um, Alison's with us and she says the creator card crosses her favourite. Um, and Linda Borkert, I just have to say that because I love your surname, Linda. You can use the illusion foil behind a lot of these collections. Yes. Yes, you can. And that would look incredible. Um, and Laurie's with us. Hello, Laurie. Really lovely for you to be here with us. Keep sending your questions and your comments. Can't wait. If you are brand new to Crafters TV and you're wondering what we're talking about when you see these little prices in the purple box down here stay with us we'll have a little video to tell you all about club inspire very soon after debbie's demo i'm sure but in the meantime if you haven't joined club inspire and you want to save yourself 20 percent today and you're a new shopper just sign up it's free and you will save 20 percent on any of the prices that you see in the white box if you want to get the purple box price uh, and you're very welcome hello and welcome and thank you for joining us here at ctv we're going to head over to debbie now and have a look at her demo yes and i'm going to i'm going to keep these pretty quick but to show you what you can do with them and other things that you can add into them as well so um i am going to use love is in the air please forgive me but i do love this tie um i'm in love with a couple i just think they're so sweet uh, in my dreams leanne that's me with mr right but he's yet to find me <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is is yet to find is. me yeah. uh, now i've taken a piece of a4 matte black cardstock um so it's the full length of the matte black cardstock and i've just scored that in half which in, in terms of on the halfway mark if you're using your um ultimate pro you'll find it on there but in, if it's a scoreboard it's the uh, eighth of an inch below the six and that creates that full half and then i've just trimmed it down to seven inches so i've got a really nice base because these are big dies let's make no bones about it this one uh, measures at five and a half by five point eight of an inch so this is quite a big chunky die um, and all we're going to do is and this is why i've got my large plate out is just to line it up onto that fold so where you see what we call and if i just turn it around so you can see the detail where the start of the edgeable part is or that half create a card mm -hmm. um, you've got on this particular one in different areas so and that's because of the design that ex expands there so i'm just going to line it up um alongside i'm going to take it up as far as i can go with it pop it at the top of the fold and pop it just down here now i'm not worried about it being hanging over the edge there it's absolutely fine because there's no card stuck underneath it won't damage your plate i can promise you no and yeah. the reason we do that when we design them debbie is so that you do have the ability to be able to use them on different side card bases oh. up to that full um kind of half fold a4 and half fold us letter size which means that you don't then have to get your it's nothing worse when you're using a die like that if it's not quite fitting on the size of the card you've got you've got to use your snips or your craft knife to finish it off because it hasn't gone all the way to the bottom the cut i did it and then if you am. can't get that straight i'm useless with scissors and, sni and knives and scissors we know that everything looks like a donkey's back leg that <laughs> they those little lines on there are so that um it will take it to the bottom to that well, maximum I size never for you knew. so you're not having to slip in snip in yeah. See, this is why you should be on here more, <laughs> because you're the oracle Jeez. of absolutely everything. <laughs> uh, the fact that obviously you, you know, you oversee absolutely everything that comes in, and you're there from the very in is it inception. It is. Yes, the inception, right through to the very end. Uh, this is why we need you more here oh, uh, to answer all of these things, because then um, we should start a petition, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Let's have more Leanne. Let Leanne out the cupboard. <laughs> Let Leanne out of the cupboard. Let her out of the cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> Give oh, her the key to the if cupboard. If you all send in a sock, we could put it in various boots throughout the business. And then if I get presented the boot with a sock in, it means I'm free, doesn't it? <laughs> I love that. Um, <laughs> this is just how easy it is to remove. And that's all I've done is I've removed it from that fold, just cut away using my scissors, and look straight away i've not had to do anything with the bottom part which just looks beautiful in itself now at the minute you're probably thinking it does look beautiful debbie but i can't really see it black on black it's a little bit hard to see but it's when you attach all the pieces oh. now i'm just going to tell you leanne the reason i've used this and i'm shocked i'm going to tell you right now are you shook it i'm shooketh because it's on the show 
<gasps> it's the cosmic paper pad. The cosmic paper pad. And um, I need more. <laughs> it's under I'm, my counter, Debbie. Oh, I know, honestly, I <laughs> need more. Now, the only difference that I've done from what you've just seen there is I've added some acetate to the back, <gasps> but I've also added, and thank you, Leanne, for bringing this to the market because it, I feel like it was done a disservice. Do you know the glitter glue? Yeah. People thought, oh, it's too old fashioned, mama. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, not, it's just it? beautiful. And that is our, do you know the clear one that we did? Yeah. That's the clear one just gone round the that edges. Gorgeous on that and it gives card. that twinkling effect, which is just beautiful. And let it dry. It doesn't take long to dry, to be fair. It's quite a quick drying glitter glue. Um, but when you add, <laughs> oh, dear me. I mean, really, that paper pad, can I just tell you, Leanne, is yeah. probably. Yeah. Dare I say it? Go on. Because Neon Dreams is one of my other ones. Are you going to be bold? But it's absolutely my favourite one we've ever produced. Really? It's just stunning. <gasps> uh, so much so that I'm actually glad it's on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> get, get it renewed because I'm. I need more. I've literally. I'm literally out of it. Oh, I've been yeah. using it on all sorts. Literally all sorts. Um, and it just is the most beautiful, glorious uh, pad. And all I've done is, Leanne, is I've just taken a little strip just to go down here. It'll take me a couple of seconds. And when I say you that, know, you I can want to make sing one enchant that one enchanted evening song. Oh. It looks like an enchanted evening, doesn't oh, it? Oh, honestly, it's just exquisite. It's oh, the most Debbie. beautiful pad. You, the team that you have, Leanne, with these is just off the chart amazing. They <laughs> really are. Um, and how they got the designs that they did um, is beyond me. Uh, but I'm just going to add that on because I don't want it to be too... Because I think that cardstock with black cardstock and a bit of glitter glue, done. In a jiffy, a beautiful creator card that you can make. And I know I had those panels all cut, but this is just showing you how quick and easy it is to create. And that's why I will always say creator cards are my favourite dies that we do alongside edibles. And this feels like a two for the price yeah. of one because yeah. it's a bit of both. So I absolutely love them. And to get them today at that price is just phenomenal. So that's three of those fabulous designs. The Celtic cross, the love is in the air and that beautiful big floral piece, which is just stunning um, at that price. And look where you, as low as you can go, £36, $42.40 is an amazing price. It is. For something that we launched just a few mere weeks ago yeah yeah that's fantastic do you know what i love about that collection debbie there's nothing samey no yes there are three very different designs and each one of them incredibly usable um now seeing as you've used that fantastic cosmic paper in that demo i love that card debbie i think very brave to use that black with a bit of glitter and acetate and then put that lovely cosmic ba paper behind and it works an absolute treat doesn't it it just feels magical it exudes it and i think i dare say debbie i'm sure you would agree not difficult not difficult at all no, not, not difficult at all required to do that exactly debbie. yeah that's Which it. Is and great it's seriously that's what i love about these dies and the cardstock that we have in the collection and talking of cardstock leanne have you got it yeah have you got it i've got it here oh come on we need I've to show it, it. Here, we need to show it mm, i'm so excited now i do live this one too apparently you've all been told that i went to space to take the photographs not strictly true. <laughs> um, I went all day, made no effort there, didn't I, darlings? I don't know why, but I did. Um, you can believe what you like. Uh, look, we've got this beautiful, beautiful cardstock. These are all nebula designs, which are um, from space. So absolutely out of this world. These are deep space imagery made into this beautiful pad on fabulous pearl cardstock double-sided um, i must just show you double-sided the designs each one of them pearl front and back as well and of course you can see that you've got 12 designs two of each and 250 gsm each one of these um, sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock in here so that means it's not only great for your matting and layering but it is brilliant for your construction as well so this is not a scrapbook paper like it would bring a scrapbook pad to you this is a cardstock a pearl cardstock printed with these beautiful designs which are from out of space i just think it's absolutely incredible brilliant for masculine cards brilliant for atmospheric cards as you've just seen debbie do them i mean that was a romance card using one of these pieces of yeah, paper exactly which shows you just depending on how you choose to use it you're going to be able to create amazing things so it doesn't just have to be about the cosmic 
uh, or about the masculine. It's just how you choose to apply it in your craft um, and would be brilliant to do that. Uh, just, I feel this looks like a tree lying it's, down here. Oh, uh, it's just, oh, yeah. You see, I, see I can it, see it straight away, it? yeah. I feel like it's like, like almost like moon and then atmosphere down and look like a little tree line. You see different things in each, each you do, time you look yeah. at it. Um, and then that's what you'll do when you start using it. So you're getting the 12 by 12. I've just seen the price on the screen. I'm going to... So for £12.79 or £17.59, I'm having to fan myself with the free <laughs> six by six that you're getting. So you're paying £12.79 or £17.59, platinum price, and you're getting the six by six for free. <gasps> that is, and well, I would be buying a couple if I was you. And these designs are all shrunken down. So it's not a chopped design of the made of the 12 by 12. It's a resized full piece, which means if you just want to use a smaller piece uh, in a project, you don't have to cut into your big 12 by 12. And you're getting the 24, 12... Uh, designs two of each again all double-sided 250 gsm of those so you're getting both of those for that quite frankly ridiculous price on the screen now then we've also got for you just before we go for a break another great deal that you can see here <gasps> uh, and these are our three-in-one creator cards which oh fantastic technology uh, it, now okay. but before we wait get a minute there, <laughs> wait a minute look can i I mean, it's not even the price of a blooming coffee these exactly. days. Exactly. <gasps> especially, if, especially if you ask them to put a syrup in it. These <sighs> retail for $16.99 or $19.99 each. And you're getting all three. This is not £4 each, guys. You're getting all three of those for £4.07 or $4.79. Under £5, under $5. All three. Five by seven creator cards. Each creator card has a different look. Um, each version, so you've got three dies in there, so you're not paying two pounds for a die. Oh, there's two dies, and they pair up for the third option. So three different looks. So it's just over a pound a look. It, and that's how I would look at that because you, you can see the top left-hand corner. Yeah. A beautiful design. Put a sentiment in there with a nested die, one card. Second one at the top right. Yeah. Just cut out with your card stop into your card stop. That's a beautiful card. Could be a wedding card, a birthday card, any celebratory card. Put them both together, and the bottom design. That is why this is a phenomenal deal. And you said the card stock with the show still at the start of the show. Yeah. I feel that this one is. I think you Because might be right. that is incredible value for money. I think we've had that up our sleeve, haven't we? It's just <laughs> absolutely amazing. So for a bargain creator card, three different looks, two dies, five by seven in size. And can I just tell you, I mean, I'm just going to tell you because obviously, you know, work in product development, worked in product development a long time. That price, we'd have paid more to manufacture it. So you are getting a phenomenal deal there where essentially that is a gift from us to you. Um, it costs us a lot more than that to manufacture it. So take advantage while you can. And while you're thinking about that and you're helping yourself to those beautiful pastel cards that Debbie had for you, you're getting a little cosmic pad and you're getting some of those Easter things as well and getting yourself that little creator card because why wouldn't you? They're fantastic deals. We've got a little video for you to watch while you check out your basket and we'll see you back soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. It differs slightly depending how lively I'm feeling first thing in the morning. Sometimes I head to the gym. More often than not, I don't head to the gym and I go on the school run. After the school run, I'm normally in here getting by about 10 o'clock.
chatting with the producer, whoever that might be on the day. So I've started going home a little bit more now, actually, in between shows. I only live about five minutes up the road, so it's nice to take a bit of a break. Um, go and make a nice cheese sarnie. Yeah. <laughs> cheese sarnie. I love a cheese sandwich. Going home. I can't say the end of the day. You might want to keep this in. I can't say the end of the day, can I? The best part of the day is starting off and finding out what kind of a day it's going to be. Oh, probably night owl now. Never shower. <laughs> He's so dirty. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a really good question again. I'm a bath man. I love a bath. Coffee in the morning, tea in the evening. No breakfast. I don't really have breakfast. I tend to sort of eat my first meal around lunchtime. Craft along. My waistcoats, my range of waistcoats, because you've always got to have plenty of waistcoats ready for the day. Is help the guys pack up. I know you're looking at me saying you don't do that. I do. I'm not one of those presenters that comes in, you know, doesn't help the backstage crew. I'm always helping out. You just ask anybody else. Does he really help pack up at the end of the day? Well, I'm just thinking, man, you see, I clean up. I and I'm going to say Ben Mosby. What? <laughs> what? Because I'm here cleaning and I clean everything. And I'm one of those girls that like to keep everything so yeah. that the next person coming in is nice and clean. Apart from if it's me coming in the next day, yeah, then yeah. I can get away with a few little bits. Yeah. But I've never seen him pack anything away. Well, I mean... <laughs> oh, was he doing a little Pinocchio just there? <laughs> let's find out. Let's find out when he's back. Let's, let's do spy cam. <laughs> and, and just let's do a we'll film a little montage and see if that's really happened. Nicola is going to film after the show and we'll share with you our Inspector Clouseau findings. <laughs> uh, we were all just discussing as well and please let us know your preference. We were just dis discussing the benefits of a bath versus a shower. I'm a shower girl. Debbie, you like a bath. So, so yeah, so when we got asked that question, I said shower because I, I think of when I'm out. So when I'm at the house or when I'm down at the hotel, I love a shower. It's for me every morning getting that shower. When I'm at home, unfortunately, I don't have the choice because I've only got a bath. I don't right. have a shower. There so when go. I'm at home, I have a bath, but it's always in the morning because I feel nice and refreshed. Yes. Although I'm not going to lie, if I've had a particularly hard day or I've been working up a sweat on the treadmill because I bought myself a treadmill at the beginning of the year. Oh, I did, yeah. I've been, I've been getting my steps in there every day. Um, but if I've had a particularly hard day, then I will have it in the morning, but I'll also have one at the night. You can enjoy it a little bit more at the night. You can. Bubbles, candles, the rest. Yeah, you can just, just lie yeah, and relax. Yeah, just lie there and relax. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's, that's me. So, although my little VT says I like a shower, I do when I'm away from home. It's the first thing that I go yeah. to when I'm at my daughter's and things like that. But, yeah. You see, I'm a nightmare with a bath because I like it that hot that I've got to have my leg hanging out the side as a thermometer to cool myself down. <laughs> because, I need, you know, when, when you're hot in bed on a night, am I the only one? You stick your foot out to cool down. That's your thermometer. I have to do the same in the bath. I have to have one leg out. And then when I get out, I'm bright red. Not that I advocate this. Wherever the water's been touching and lily white everywhere else. <laughs> so I don't think it's the safest thing for me to... I mean, I'm probably and conjuring up some horrendous images for you right now. So we'll stop talking about it. Hence, I'm a shower girl. Uh, right, <laughs> I have got this next brilliant deal for you. Um, and this is a buy one, get one free. I do love a little buy one, get one free with these amazing glitter markers that we've got in Spectrum Noir for you. Uh, you've got all of the colours in this. You've got six markers in here and a ridiculous amount of different techniques you can do with them. The first set we've got is our neon. And then I've got here for you this little board so you can see that beautiful flash of intense glitter that you've got in here. These are great for personalising. Mm -hmm. They're great for colouring in. If you're quick, you can move them with water. You can blend a couple of colours together. Uh, they're brilliant for... Um, I like to use these for writing birthday cards, actually. So I do use these when I'm writing out 
cards or gifts that I'm giving to people because I just love the fact that I've got that bright, happy colour with the glitter infused in there. And then the second set, the set that essentially you're getting free, um, is this new vibrant, well not new, but the vibrant florals collection that we've had for you. And then you can see the colours there. And again, with those brilliant flashes of glitter, so many different ways you can use them. You're getting both of these sets for your platinum price of $9.59 or $14.39, which is a steal. Um, you've got 12 markers here, less than a pound a marker, significantly less than a pound a marker um, and just over a dollar a marker, which for this quality and these colours is an absolute steal. Um, and I think you will all find lots of different ways of using these. You can colour in. If you've got shrink plastic from years ago, colour in with the shrink plastic. And when you shrink it down, the intense sparkle you get off these is absolutely yeah. incredible. Um, use them on all of your different surfaces. You know, colour in your stamps with them if you want to. I actually like to colour with alcohol marker and then just do accents with this glitter over the top i do the same when i'm using a watercolor marker as well and some days i'll just color in a beautiful full flat image with these uh, but more often than not you'll find me writing greetings with all of those beautiful colors so many different ways of using them and a fantastic price today debbie well this is quite crazy I, I, again <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm shocked that they're in the uh, the craft vault again. A cheeky, what was that, Nicola? Uh, half price there. Oh, my days. So this is your adhesive rub-on pieces. Um, and I love this because you're getting 48 sheets in total. When I say 48 adhesive rub-on sheets and then the foils too. So you're not having to buy separate foils. It's all in the kits for you. I'm going to show you the boards because you've got two different colourways in these. But you're getting... You get, are you getting them all, Nick? $24.99 or $24.00. Oh, I like that. I like it when it's nice and easy. $24.99 or $24.99. Look at the lowest. For less than £20 or $20, you are going to be able to take home. And I'm definitely doing that for a reason, Jamie, because I want you to see just how fantastic these rub-on adhesives are. Now, these are the designs that you're getting and the colours. So in your golds, in your silvers, you're getting all of these beautiful, gorgeous shimmering my god they're sparkling my eyes they're absolutely fabulous now you won't be using it all in a full piece like that you'll be taking pieces and using them sparingly maybe a little accent maybe a little feature on your card um or a focal feature on your card let's just say just look at that mandala one i love that one i think it's absolutely beautiful uh, but this is everything you are getting in that fantastic deal that you're seeing on the screen sentiments are in there little accents of embellishments are in there some nice focal pieces are in there it literally just takes i mean it takes your breath away and then the color the colored foiled is just stunning so you've got these beautiful blues and those gorgeous greens and i'm trying to make it sure that you can see it um into its full advantage of what you're going to be getting when you get these home they are absolutely it's like a magenta isn't it oh it's just stunning mm. look at look at that look at that one i absolutely adore every single one of them um very useful and so much so much crafting potential look at i mean seriously leanne this yeah, one it's beautiful isn't it there's it's great just... value for money in them isn't it yes because each piece can be is cut out separately and you can use two or three pieces together or you can just use small accents yes and i think you know you can use them on white cards there but i love them over the top of a scrapbook paper so it looks like you've got a foiled scrapbook paper as well yes so you can use them in a subtle way as well as a real obvious way too i find absolutely and you know what can I do a quick demo? Please. Now, I am be, uh, I'll be open and transparent. I know that you can take your um, lollipop sticks, yeah. you can take your bone folders, and you can apply your adhesive on there. I sometimes struggle with that, mm -hmm. so I cheat and I put it through my machine. And I do this all the time, because you get a lovely smooth finish as well. And if you have got problems with your hands and things like that, why should it stop you from crafting? Why should it stop you from getting the effects? Exactly. Uh, so there's two ways that you can do this. Now, okay. all I've done is I've taken some, and I've just literally shined like a star, and I've taken two of the corner pieces because I'm going to lay those into there. Now, when you are using these, they uh, are on this clear side. So on the acetate side, that is where your adhesive is. This bit, throw it in the bin, or use it for something else. What I don't want you doing is putting your fingers right over that adhesive because you could lose some of that adhesion. Now, again, if I just... Can you see it there? Perfect. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is line that up into my corner of 
my card. Now again, when I lift that up, you'll see the transfer. <coughs> there Lovely. it is. Yes. And then you can apply your pressure by rubbing your um and again lollipop stick foot bone folder whatever it is that you want to apply but i will show you because i did get asked this i did this down at hobby maker and people said could you repeat the combination for your um gemini machines and i'll gladly do that right now so i'm going to pop that into the corner so now i've got I have two to accents. Say, debbie i'm just going to tell everybody i watched you do this one i've been um rubbing them on with lollipop sticks and bone folders for time and time and memorial and i watched you do this uh with the machine and now it's the only thing i do <laughs> i just like an easy way and an, an easy way to do that so you're going to just pop it onto your plate of your mm -hmm. um your gemini and it can go on the smaller one as well and mm -hmm. um, the only reason i've chosen this because i've got two on there and i don't want to squish it too much mm -hmm. on my little one but it's when you're going to need um what i well i just tell you as it is there's the normal way that you would do it with your um, die cutting. Yep. So we're just going to pop that on and run that through the machine. Now, the pressure of the machine is what's going to put the adhesive glue onto your cardstock, onto your scrapbook pages. I'm just thinking now, pattern papers, all those kind of things, like you said, that little accent, that little embellishment that's just on the, on the pattern card is beautiful, but it just makes it so much easier to do it this way. And the same when you're applying as well, your, um, your foil, super easy and it's done and you're not having to worry about missing anywhere now again while you've got it at this stage don't put your fingers in it because it's the sticky bits so we're going to pop that back onto there the same with our transferred um piece that's got the shine like a star on and then all we're going to do is we're going to cut now be frugal don't yeah. be wasting be frugal with your foil because i could just slap the whole piece over there but i am not doing that because i'm not wasting it plus tracy you, do you know what i do what do you do i put that bit of foil over the oh the transfer before yes. and then i cut the two of them out together well do you know what i'm glad i ain't thrown that now because <laughs> i'll be able to use, use that. that as your template yeah yeah i'm going to use that as your template the thank time. you use very much for that leanne i love that that's oh. what it's about, isn't it? Helping each other out. Exactly. What a great idea. Never even thought of that. And then, now, the difference between hot foiling and cold foiling. Yeah. Hot foiling, you put pretty side down. Yeah. Don't do what I did the first time I got these. Completely forgot. And I wasted, I wasted a bit of foil. Mm. Didn't do anything. So we make sure that you've yeah. got the shiny bit facing you so you yes. want to make sure it's it's the pretty side up oh. and again you can just take your um bone folders and all those kind of things over the top uh but machine will do it as well and it's quick it's easy and it's i love your word effortless what do you say when you say that word maximum effortless. oh minimum mi maximum impact minimum effort that's the one I love when you said that, Leanne. I keep pinching that. Yeah, do it. I do. I pinch it all the time. I do credit you, though. Yeah, I don't just pinch it. I just, I, I do credit you. Know you. It is? It's all about helping everybody at home, Debbie, isn't it? Exactly. Like caring and sharing. Exactly. To get the most out of their fabulous stuff that they've got and show them how it can be just so useful. Exactly. So I'm just going to use that middle piece there. And again, it's the same thing. We don't do anything. We don't change anything up. We just pop the plates together, run it through the machine, and you've got that... Um, really smooth transition of the adhesive and the foil with no worry no mess no nothing yeah. it's just so super super easy and to I mean, do and i mean to have these at that ha at this half price deal Debbie, i know it's phenomenal and you will get a lot of use out of those different transfers because there's myriad pieces on each sheet which you can use a tiny little accent you can use a big bold piece it just really is great. I can't wait. Oh, look. Look at that beautiful. Honest oh. to God, the shine on these is just look at it. absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh. You're talking oh, about moving your card making onto something else. Oh, and look. do you know when you go into it's card that shops? It's mirror shine, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, the thing is, Leanne, do you know when you go into those high end shops and, and you see the price of the cards when they've got foiling on? Yeah. You're talking a premium price when it's oh. got a bit of foil on. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It is. You don't have to now because, uh, and all I'm doing is I'm putting it onto a black and white piece of cardstock and I'll hold it up in the camera. Effortlessly elegant, that, Debbie. Exactly. Honestly super super easy to achieve as well just put the foam pad just onto the back 
of these two uh, just to elevate that center i've just used my nesting <gasps> let me just tell you leanne those nesting dies do you love them oh my god when i say i'm in love Aren't total fabulous? love total total love they're absolutely fabulous they really really are um and I can't wait to launch them uh, with our lovely... I think it's with Becky, actually. I think I'm oh. back with Becky on um, on Wednesday. Nice. Yeah, it'd be lovely. I can't wait. I wonder if Be is Becky staying up on Wednesday, then, or is she going she home? She is. Yeah, she'll be up now. Look at that. And they're going to say about the premium. I'm just seeing I've moved my cardstock. I stock. think on close-up, that'll be marvellous. Because you can see there, there. Oh, there. There. Just back towards there. 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 Oh my word. And look just at that. showing oh, you. And again, look. if you're making to and I've only used three tiny pieces from those adhesive rub rubbons yeah. and a little bit of foil. Yeah. And you're getting your 20 48. Yes. 48. Half price, this half deal. price deal. What a phenomenal to create things like that instantly and really, really superb quality. And that again, if you were making to sell, yeah. you'll get your money back. Oh, quick. <laughs> Absolutely. Super quick. Um, and think about if you're doing matching cards and matching gift bags or matching boxes, you could do a little bit of that. Or like Leanne said, if you're taking a pattern paper and you want to give it that extra bit of um, zhuzh, that extra bit of, je, what's that word? Je ne sais quoi. That's the one. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> then you can do. <laughs> Uh, you, you've, so you've got, you've got to say that with a little shoulder shake, Debbie. <laughs> I love it. It's got, it. I just absolutely love that. I think it adds a little bit of sophistication, elegance, expensive touch, without a lot of expense being spent on it. Yeah. I really do. I can't keep up with all the comments. There's so many of you joining us. I'm really pleased that you're enjoying the show. Thank you so much. Handcrafted by Gaz, he's folded. He's folded and bought the Easter set and the Sheena Butterfly stamps. You'll be seeing those soon, guys. Uh, Ruth, Ruth Miser says, Leanne and Debbie, you were both a hoot. Oh, well, that's nice. Thanks, Ruth. Do you know, if we bring a little bit of sunshine into your day via Crafters TV, put a fork on us, we're done. Um, Carolyn says, good morning from Florida. Um, and Ruth also says, I love Leanne days. Well, thank you very much, Ruth. Uh, Maricel says, Leanne comes up with great things in her cupboard. So, Maricel votes for me being kept in the cupboard. <laughs> okay? You let me know where you land on that. Are you sending a sock or not? Um, Cindy loved your tree card, Debbie. She really did. Aww. Jen says hello to us and all of our crafty friends. Carol says, great to see Leanne. Thank you. Um, I love her expression and excitement. I'm sorry. I apologise. I can't help myself. I love the product so much. Um, Lynn says, lovely card, Debbie. Simple and so effective. Um, and Leanne, Mary Beth ag agrees. Leanne and Debbie, I agree with you 100%. I love the Neon Dreams and the Cosmic. They are fantastic. And there's so much more. We'll have a look at those in a second. Um, just before we... Um, have a little break, maybe. I must just show you this deal that I've got for you here. I'm taking it out the packet. I might get to bother, but I don't mind. Because this is our fabulous luxury card stock uh, that we've got for you. Look at the price. Platinum price, 5 dollars oh. You've got the red pack here, and we've got 30 sheets. 10 sheets of mirror, 10 sheets of matte and 10 sheets of glitter card in there and they're all a great weight uh, 250 gsm and very usable you can see the three different effects that you've got brilliant for all sorts of occasions during the year especially if you like a little bit of red in your life i love red and black together red and black and beautiful. red and craft together yes yeah my favorites i think it looks absolutely gorgeous so this when it's on for a price like this is the time to really stock up. Now, you've seen the little video earlier. If you're brand new to CTV uh, and you'd like to save 20% a day and you're not a member of Club Inspire, sign up. It's free. And you'll get 20% off the white, box the white box prices that you can see on your screen. And you will unlock that platinum price that we've got for you there. This is our spring sale event. We're having really great time we've got new items added from the previous spring sale event uh, that you've seen and we've got some great savings for you and all of the bundles that you can see on the show today are cheaper than you could access them individually on our website so it's definitely the time to be shopping 
during this brilliant, brilliant two hour uh, craft vault that we've got for you. Debbie and I have got lots more deals and we've got lots more inspiration for you. And so we hope you stay with us to make the most of these fantastic spring deals that we've got for you on CTV today. Thank you very much for staying with us and joining us here on CTV for our fabulous spring event. We're very lucky to have you here with us. We're grateful. Welcome one and all. If you're brand new, welcome to CTV. And if you're one of the regular crew, one of our crafty family, it's going to be gorgeous to spend this next hour that we've got with you. This is our spring sale craft vault and we've got brand new items added from the previous spring sale that we did and some phenomenal deals for you. All the deals that we've got are cheaper in the bundles that we have than, you're a than are able to be shopped on our website currently. Uh, I'm not here on my own. <laughs> I'm with the inimitable and glorious crafter, one of my favourite people in the world, Debbie Robinson. Hello, my darling. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, I love, I love a craft vault. I love, love a craft, a craft vault. vault. Love a good bargain. You've already taken advantage in the droves to some of the deals that we've already previously shown you. And we've got some more, Leon. <gasps> well, I mean, what we're doing? Have we saved the best to last, Debbie? I don't know. Mm. We've got some great bargains, haven't we? Yeah. I like to shop at an event like this, Debbie. I know you do too, because I don't. I like to save, and I like the money that I've got allocated for my treats, for my hobby, to go a little bit further. Mm. And so, if you're shopping at an event like this, you can get some real deals, can't you? Uh, and make your pennies go a little bit further. But actually, for me, consumables too. We had some brilliant red luxury crowd stock in that previous hour and like the cosmic pads that we had those brilliant pastel card blanks 150 cards and 150 envelopes 300 pieces four pence a piece eight pence a duo that's a phenomenal deal i love events like this to stock up on my consumables debbie so that i'm saving my good pennies i would call them for buying new and different things when all my consumables are paid and waiting there and I've got a good deal on them. I'm not worried about using them. That's what a craft vault's all about. It's about opening up the deals for you. And Debbie, you have got a phenomenal one, have you not? It is. It's the 3D concertina. So the ones that bend and bounce. Um, and it's the uh, border sets. Now, I love these because you've got two sets. I don't have any boards, but I'm going to show you some samples in a second. What I'm going to show you is the two different designs that you're getting um, in these and what you can create from this. And which is why I've always loved this set is because we could have been really lazy and just giving you a set that created a square. That was it. But we didn't. What we've done is we've created three different dies. We've got the corner piece you've got the smaller piece so you could um, have this with use with the corner to create a nice small square or you've got the what I call the extender one it's actually two and then three and then the corner in terms of the sizes and I'm talking inches um, absolutely fabulous dies these and this is the kind of thing that you're going to be able to create with them so you're getting two die sets so that's six in total because they're two different designs in terms of uh, the and I get this the right way around lace and the vines so you've got two different ones there both do the same thing but this is what we're talking about in terms of your um, concertina part so you can have a nice elongated one this is just using the two corners sorry four corners and then the three inch part in the center and then you can join them together to create those beautiful box pieces. Now, again, this is where it comes into its home because this is where the concertina part lives. And I just genuinely mean this. They look absolutely sensational no matter how you use them and no matter which way you use them, whether you cut them into cardstock. Oh, That's a pattern yeah. cardstock that we've cut there and then some decoupage. Mm -hmm. So if you've got things like 3D flowers, like our foam flowers or things that um, decoupage flowers, they're going to work absolutely beautiful in these frames. And of course, it's a frame. So mm -hmm. pictures, loved ones, all those kind of things that you can pop in. Do you just want to use the corner pieces? That could be just a corner piece addition that you want to do there. But again, it gives you the space to be able to create um, that lovely frame for your decoupage pieces. And I do love that one because it's like Me an too. easel, but with um, a lovely feature of that frame. And you can see the concertina part here in that middle again. If you have got your loved ones, you could be turning it into a lovely home decor piece, which is what we've done here. Um, and again, to take it onto a bigger scale, 
that's what you're going to do nice. Th this is what i love about them it gives you as a crafter lots of different ways to use them in terms mm -hmm. of what size of frame do you want to use do you just want to use the four corners do you want to use the four corners with the two inch pieces or the three inch pieces or do you want to elongate it even further because you're in control so you could make a really bespoke piece it could be a scrapbook page all the way around because you've got the ability to create that with the pieces that you've got the corner pieces the two inch the three inch and you can really extend them so they're absolutely incredible and it's a i've only just seen price <laughs> excuse me <laughs> eight pounds or ten dollars for both sets and then all this this is just a snippets of the things that you can be creating mm -hmm. with them because that's all the short ones that i've just shown yeah eight pounds or ten dollars before you take off your club inspire oh my life look at the purple box it's incredible isn't it now i must just there's so the two little joint you see the connecting piece you've got the corner and then you've got the two straight edges yes we were very careful when we were designing those to make sure that those were the correct size to allow you to do your A2, your 6x4, oh. your 5x7, your 8x8, All the big size, yeah. So all of those standard sizes that you've got uh, or your preferred size of card. Can we keep you? Can we keep you, Liam? <laughs> because no. I love this. You learn these new things. I mean, we, we uh, me as a creative and just wants to get, get crafting with them straight away and know what they can do. But to hear that yeah. of why they were designed and the reason why they're in that size, yeah. I think is just why we need to keep Leanne here all the time. Yeah. Let's just have your Send me a sock. <laughs> I'll send you one. I'll send yeah, you one. Definitely. Um, do you know that? But it's, it make it let, helps you understand just how usable they are. Yes, it, very Debbie? much so. Um, yeah. So if you have, you know, like if you're a, I'm a five by seven girl, and that's me. And stay in that. Yeah, yeah. That will work for you. Yeah. And, you know, if you're an eight by eight, if it's Sheena Douglas, massive cards all the time. She makes them huge. She loves them. Massive eight by eights every time. It'll work for her too. I'm more of a six by four tent fold girl. Oh. I like a six by four or a six by six. However, only ever, doesn't matter what size I'm doing, tent fold. Yes. I never do a stand your book fold. You like the tent? I like a tent fold. Yeah. I don't know why I just do, it's my preference. We all have a preference. We do indeed. To, we? And that's lovely And that's to what know. these will do. If you have got a preference, these will work for you because those sizes of the little connecty pieces have been worked out to work for you. Yeah, and they really are super easy to put together as well, Leanne. That's what I love about yeah. them. They're not they're not overly complicated. You just run it through your die cutter machine, um, do the valley and the mountain folds on the concertina part, and then just stick them together to create all of those different sizes and that's what i love about these that for me just ticks all the boxes of the not one trick pony kind of dies and that's why they're phenomenal but for me because i caught it just a second ago that price eight pounds ten dollars or six pounds forty or eight dollars is phenomenal what was that nicola over 70 percent saving and like leanne said I could probably get a coffee, but not much change from that. But I, a coffee's gone in two seconds flat once yeah. it's cooled down. Exactly. These are forever. And I they're the really one that... coffee's ridiculous at the oh, minute. It's crazy. It? It's See, even a cup of tea. I mean, let's be fair. A cup of tea, I don't even have... I have black tea. Oh. So it's some hot water and a tea bag. Yeah. And I was... Yesterday, I was uh, at a museum with the girls, out with my husband, uh, local to us, and... It was £2.75 for a tea. <laughs> Which I think is a lot of money for a tea bag and some hot water. Exactly, yeah. I was just going to say the same so, thing. Uh, no sugar, nothing. I have no, just tea bag, hot water. And I know we can't price the tea because some people have milk and some people have sugar. I get that. But even if we say, I think £1.50 sounds reasonable. And I'm sure that covers boiling the kettle, using the tea bag, putting a bit of milk in and having a sugar. I just feel it's a lot of money, Debbie. It is. It's expensive, it is. isn't it? Mm. So do you know what? I turned into Kitty, who was my grandma, was my grandma, <laughs> and I just decided not to have the tea. I was like, look at the price of that to my husband. Absolutely not buying that. Out of principle. He was like, Leanne, don't be ridiculous. You want a cup of tea and it's £2.50. I'm like, out of principle, it's £2.75 actually, Simon. I am, no, <laughs> excuse me, 25 pence. Don't round down, round up £3. Thank you. Uh, I'm not paying it for a cup of tea. So I didn't. No. I, I did had to sit out of the girls' juice bottle instead. <laughs> <laughs> I 
because I was a good grandma and I had that pre-packed in the bottom of the push chair. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so I just had a little slurp of that and did without the tea. Uh, that's where I am. I just think it's expensive. It is. It, it is, is, isn't it? Now, talking about expensive, this is not. <laughs> this is very flipping reasonable and absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is our Daisy, delightful Daisy's 12 by 12 paper pad. This was very popular when it launched. Very, very popular. Um, and we've brought the paper pad back for you because uh, we know there'll be lots of you who've got the Delightful Daisies collection and you might have started to really eat into your paper, feeling pretty sad about the fact that it's nearly no longer. And so you can top it up and you can top it up in this cartload today. It's a beautiful collection. The colours in here and the design's exquisite. This is a sneak peek into my bedroom. Uh, this is the colour palette I'm doing my bedroom in now i'm having a rage it's like a plum aubergine at the minute and i'm over it i want it to be nice and fresh for the summer so i'm going sagey green like this with some little yellow and cream and white accents so uh, just in case you wondered that's what the boudoir is going to be like uh, and it's got some lovely lavender blues in here the designs of course i think we do paper pads better than anybody else in the industry i'm just going to say that i'm going to call it out i'm proud of my team i think they do a phenomenal job um, and you've got amazing designs in here. Beautiful cuttable designs here too, where you can chop this into a myriad of different sizes and it's going to work. And I must just uh, tell you how we design these actually while I'm on. And the girls, the girls in the team, sorry, Jamie, I keep moving it out of vision. The girls in the team um, do this all the time now. We always look at a 12 by 12 pad in a quad. So we look at it and we put an imaginary halfway point like that and decide is, is there enough beautiful usable here 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 and here so that when you're cutting into your ink I, I think debbie's just had an epiphany it was just the fact when you just said it like that i'm like why have i never seen that before <laughs> why have i never physic because i just look at the pad as a whole and think how beautiful it is but leanne this yes. is again another proven point of why we need you here more often. And then when you do that, you see each of those four are different. You've got a butterfly focus, a big floral focus, you've got a garden focus, and here you've got more of the butterflies and the floral. And we do that in each of the designs to make sure that you have got maximum usable space on your paper pad. We then take it a step further and go, OK, if it's nearby your scrapbook page, how is that trimming? beautifully leaves me a border here so you see where you've got that eight by eight and then this leaves you a beautiful border for another card this leaves you an accent to trim at the side of maybe it's a z fold card so we always look at the placement in the design yes we make it look beautiful when we're flicking through and showing you how gorgeous it is but we're always looking at how you would be using and maximizing each of these papers when you get them home you can see this in use here perfectly if you imagine this in fours you've got a couple with not very much so you can add extra you've got that lovely design and then you've got the full-on floral if that's what you want to do beautiful pad uh, exquisitely designed the color palette is exceptional uh, and if you're ready to top up to be able to get that for your platinum price today of 39 or 11 19 i'd be getting a couple of hours you there you go delightful daisies debbie amazing i just honestly it's like it's like this again I'm going to pretend. <laughs> That's what it's like, mic drop, because I had no idea. I just see the beauty of the pads and think your team are amazing and I fall in love every single time we bring out a new pad. Um, can't help having some favourites and two of them have been on already today. Uh, but seriously, I didn't realise that's what you did. Yeah. We see, did. I, I need to get in Leanne's mind. I've mm -hmm. often said this. This is why you're, you're my personal crafting oracle oh, because I've always you. said that because you you're there from that very start right through to that very finish mm -hmm. so to to know how it's all put together and why you think like that mm. <laughs> we're very careful yeah. to look at scale and pattern to make sure it works on all of the things yeah, on, yeah. there's a lot goes into a paper pad amazing absolutely amazing talking of amazing do you want some more deals yeah come on Oh, I love a good deal and I love, can I just tell you about these, Leanne? Because when we first saw these, both myself and Craig, I'm not going to lie, were nearly at fisticuffs about who wanted to launch them. Craig got there. <laughs> Craig did get there because I did love boxes. Win? I love construction. So I was like, me, 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 me. Craig's like, nope, I'm having it. Uh, he won. <gasps> That's all I'll say. I let him off though because I've been playing, you know, we've had many, many, many 
fun times with these boxes because they are so versatile and this is again i can't wait to find out why you did this leanne because i'm feeling like i'm being educated today <laughs> um <laughs> Our boxes, our construction boxes, our dimensional boxes, you are getting two full die sets for the price that you're seeing on the screen. We'll talk about the value in a minute, but just, just soak that in for a second, especially that purple box, because what I'm always sure, yeah, is probably the most versatile boxes we've ever brought out at Crafters Companion. And I do love a good roll-up box and a prism, uh, because this is what you're getting for your very few pennies today, shall we just say. So this is your roll-up. Now, the roll-up box you can make in... And can we do it overhead, this one, Jamie? Is that OK? Or do you want to do a close-up? You tell me. Thank you very much. You're so sweet. It's just because it's a big board and it probably hurt my fingers because it's a lot. There's a lot on this. This is your dies, and this is what's going to create your one roll-up box, if that's what you want to do. And I love the dimension of this. All workable gift boxes, all the tabs, all the um, scoring, all the die cutting done from that one outer die. And then the extra, and we could have been really lazy and given you a few, but we haven't. We're giving you tons, tons and tons of extra bits on that one piece. And it's the decorative pieces, it's the embellishments, it's the pieces that you can use for your sentiments to go into, it's your keys, it's your locks, and individual, and, and again, a lovely way of showing you this is two different types of panels, not one, two, that you can be using, and that's just from that one piece. Yeah. However, with the addition of a template, yeah. you then can go bigger. So from that one box die, and that really beautiful gift box at that and it really is yeah. you can take it to this kind of uh <laughs> it's fab isn't it <laughs> it's beyond fab leanne and it's always been a firm favorite of mine and again all workable gift boxes it mm -hmm. just depends however you want to design them how you want to decorate them what papers you want to use them with they're absolutely phenomenal value for money that's just one of the box dies today at that price because the other one just seriously, seriously, the prism. I love this I one. I love this one, and will not lie, it's always been one of my favourites. The worker die, the extra pieces, the extra panels on there that allow you to create this beautiful gift box, and it really is beautiful. Has it been sealed? Leanne, have they sealed it? <gasps> what are they doing to me? They've sealed it, I mean, how could they? How rude, how rude. And do you know what? I think they might have done it because it goes around the world, these boxes. They go all over the they world. They do go all over the world. And I feel it may have been. However, it is a workable box. But with the addition of the template, yeah. you can then go from one... Oh, my days. Jamie, we'll have to do this from front because this is just... It always blows my mind. From one it's to multiple, and it is absolutely incredible. And there's a couple of ways that you can be opening these. You can either open them from the top, or you can open them then from the front part, which is what again I love. Choices, your choices. You decide how you want to put those together. But the fact that they roll up and create that lovely prism shape is just absolutely fabulous. And that is everything for that price on yeah. the screen: twenty-two pounds or twenty-six dollars for both sets and enabling you as a creative person to really, really go to town on these. And construction's always been one of my first loves. I still love it yeah. to this day. But to do it with ease, no measuring, no working out the cuttings, no measuring where the score lines go, where the tabs go, any, none of that because it's all done for you in that brilliant package deal there. But look at the price, £17.60, the lowest you'll pay today for two sets. $20.80. I think that's the lowest. What saving is that, Nick? Another over 70%. It's another mic drop. Oh, there it really is. I want to it's destroy that. It's a phenomenal. phenomenal. It's a big old die set, isn't it, Debbie? Each of it them. It is. And we've really maximised the use of the metal space there by filling in all of those spaces. So you've got all of those lovely... Um, I'm rocking because I've got a right pain in my hip. So I'm not dancing. I'm... I I'm thought like, you were dancing with it. Are yeah, you okay? No, I'm not. It's got, yes, I'm fine. It just it's it's running after a three-year-old and a two-year-old for three days straight. That's what it is. 
That's why grandmas are walking around stooped and damaged because it's just not for them. Anyway, it's fine. It'll go. It's just a little bit tight. Uh, it's a brilliant, brilliant deal because they were quite expensive, weren't they, when we first launched Oh, them. yeah. When I say expensive, they weren't expensive in the fact that it wasn't value for money because it's a massive die set. They're just an investment piece. It's a considered purchase is what I'm saying. You need to want to make a lot of boxes. However, for a price like this, that is no longer a considered purchase because you've got two different sets there that can make two different styles of box. So essentially four box styles for the price that you can see on the screen, which is great, isn't it, Debbie? And we put those templates in there to give you that extra versatility in different ways of using them. Absolutely. And I'm going to show you if you just, per I mean, you, you, you do have a little rest because I must be careful. I know, it's all right. I know. It's fine. Honestly, I'll, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to you put do these it, together yeah. because they really are <laughs> divine. Um, and I'm just going to show you. Now, I want you to look at this die. This isn't overly intricate. It's got your die cut parts that creates the full box, all the tabs and all the score lines into place. Now, I would consider that to be not overly, um, not overly decorative. So, personally, myself, I don't put this in. I don't use the magnetic one. I substitute it for a cardstock over the top just to pop into there because I want to still be able to see my score lines, Liam. But what I don't want to do is have too much pressure because we all know this machine is phenomenal pressure. It's regardless whether you've got the old one or the new one, we've um, got a lot of pressure in there. So in terms of a die, when you're looking at a die, think of the shape. If there's not any decorative element to it, and you can see it's working really well because that punch sound tells me it's put in. But if I was to have put the magnetic shim in, I have got that um, where I could potentially go through the score lines as well. So that's why I just substituted it with one carrier sheet of a um, piece of cardstock. That's all it is for a shim rather than the magnetic shim because there's different depths and different... Um, and that's the reason why, isn't it, Leanne? Because of the pressure yep. with the certain dies that you use, decorative yep. dies, you would use like your uh, magnetic shim then. Um, but for me, and I, it's only because I've done this many a time and I've done these boxes many a time now, I've done them for gifts for friends, I've done them for, you know, for family members, um, as well as my demos here that you get to see us, you know, do day in, day out. Yeah. Um, but what it's done now is put all those score lines into place. And apart from a burnishing tool, so like one of your bone folders, um, practically... <laughs> It's all there for you. It's just done there for you. And all I'm doing is manipulating those folds now. And that's when you will take your bone folder and just put those score lines with a, a burnish to give it that nice crisp. And it makes a difference when you do that. But you're going to do that with all of your score lines. Me getting excited, I'm spitting all over my project. I it's mean, your project, really. Debbie, you can do what you like. Bless you. I just get, I, I get so excited. I know. So excited. It is great. And definitely when you're using dies like that, let, you don't need to have all the pressure in. No, no. Because, um, and I, I've said this many times when I've taught Gemini classes and I've talked about it with friends, with people that ask me questions. I've always I've got my DMs open um, and I'm always answering questions about the Gemini and the pressure because it's a phenomenal machine. You just need to know how to use it correctly when it comes to certain dies. That's all you need to do. Now, that's all of that cut i don't need to work out a single thing because it's all into place the only thing i need to work out is if i'm going to keep a, a straight part so if i were doing the straight edge i want to put that fold in so I'll, I'll show you what i mean by that in a second because these simply come up and this literally now is where i'm just going to put my glue on these four tabs yeah so i'm going to pop my tape pen down on all four sides got one there let me just push that then and then we're going to just literally now bring those tabs up line it up to that straight edge then adhere the glue and again on the other side and you couldn't ask for anything <laughs> more easy when it comes to construction it just makes it simple doesn't it, it? just so honestly absolutely super super see, easy to I put like together construction but i don't like having to work out the measurements no because you have to sit there work them all mm. out i do a couple of trial and error what i call the trial and error runs before yeah. i actually you know complete uh, complete that now again that just tucks in so that little fold with the thought just tucks into there that's when you can add things like your hook and loop on mm -hmm. um, you can add things like you could add magnet magnets if you wanted to personally i would just use your can loop uh, but puts that square box that's your one box 
using the template that's when you can extend it and then all i'm going to do leanne is literally just use now you've just shown it a second ago oh this is the daisy pad the daisy Lovely. pad do you know what i love about this daisy pad i'm looking at this one in particular more of a do you know like in focus and fuzzy focus what yes. i call it i love that that detail of those because they're just absolutely phenomenal than paper pads all of that dye, it's on your sheets. I've not worked anything out in terms of how I'm going to put this together because um, how I put those panels on because it's all been done for me. See, and I love that too. Yeah. Because I love, I love to mat and layer. I love a construction piece. I love an unusual shape box, and I love to mat and layer. However, I don't like to have to measure. I don't like having to cut them out by hand because everything ends up being wonky like a donkey's back leg and it doesn't go together straight <laughs> and then I hate having to work out the maths and layers and I never get it right and I waste a lot of stuff doing it so having the die set like that where you do not have to worry about it that for me gives you great value and lose using up your scrap bits of paper using your bits of cardstock you're not putting it all in the bin you're not like you're saying trial and error trial and error can cost because you haven't used cardstock for trial and error you know and you could have used that for something else you can just be confident that it is absolutely going to work from getting it out the package, can't you, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. And then again, I'm just going to come in and add that last little panel just there. And then I've even got embellishments on here as well, Leanne. So we can add things like, because you've got your banners where you can put your banner on. And I've just stamped, um, I say stamped a, a sentiment. It was one that I found on my shelf yesterday. I thought, oh my God, it fits that perfectly. So it comes in handy. So I'm going to pop that. Oh, I could put it on the front. I could put it on there. I think I'll put it on that one. And then I've got me butterflies as well. I mean, I have to have a butterfly. I oh, love a butterfly. Uh, but then just pop those on. You've got all of those embellishments to have a real good play with. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of tacky glue in its uh, on its body. We'll have one on the front and we'll have one on the top. And it's that easy to put together. And yes, I know I already pre-cut my panels, but we've got a lot on the show. And we want to get through as much yeah, as we can. And that's just seconds, to make you? your one, your one, oh, my little butterfly's falling off. There he is. Just need to let that tacky glue take hold. Uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. That and that's when you can extend it. You can make two. So you could join two together if you wanted to. You could then use your template and have the four that then fold up together, mm. done and dusted. I mean, run that through your machine four times. It's all there. Done. Uh, that for me is why I've always loved them. I've never seen them this low. I've never seen that price on the screen for two full sets and the templates as well. And then the platinum price there, the lowest. Can you imagine starting into the craft world, coming in here for the first time and thinking, what's Club Inspire? What's Club, what's Club, what's this platinum talking about? Sign up today, it costs you nothing. All you need, well, it's not even your address, is it? Don't even Email address. That in. Email address. And um, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Pop that in and you can take advantage of £17.60 or $20.80 today. Both full sets. Incredible. It, it really is. is incredible. And I love a set like that, Debbie, um, for making gifting inexpensive. Yes. Because you can have, let's say, one of those, for three of those little gold wrapped chocolates that come in a little cupcake wrapper. What are they called? Ferrero Rocher. Rocher. Absolutely. Mm. Three of them in there. Buy a box of 12. Make four gifts by putting three little chocolates in. Yeah. A little handful of chocolate raisins or yeah. if you've made some chocolate truffles at home. It makes gifting inexpensive to, and the, so you can make people feel special and loved and cared for. I always think a gift of your time making the box, making the gift is so much better than going on the high street and buying one off the shelf because you give, you're pouring yourself into it. That's why I love handmade. Um, and then it also just saves a bit of cash as well because you don't have to spend a load of money on gifts. It's brilliant. Now, you're loving everything you're seeing. I've got lots of comments. I'm going to do them for you when we come back. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit of time now to go and choose your favourites from what you've seen from us this far in our updated spring sale that we've got for you today on this craft vault. And we'll be back with you in a couple of minutes to show you what else we've got, have a little talk to you as well at home, um, and we'll see you back here very soon. My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy in work. Literally, I get in the door, I check my polls, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready, um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter. Uh, it depends what side. I mean, sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side, and I love both. It 
It's actually who I get to that's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we went to work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating. And we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So, yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. <gasps> Masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheet and making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the is nice and tidy for myself the next day or whoever's in jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that. Live shows, I always get the butterflies. As soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and just enjoy the show. Early riser. Or in the morning. Tea. Or savoury breakfast. Master. My mobile phone. Oh, in with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Welcome back. Tell us in the comments, what did you treat yourself to from this fantastic spring event that we've got you on Craft Vault? Uh, yeah, and more importantly, actually, thank you, Nicola. How much have you saved um, when you've treat yourself in this spring event? Let us know that. So many of you joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, Elizabeth says, I love the idea of the scrapbook page. Nobody's going to be looking at a paper pad the same again, I don't think, Debbie. Um, Maricel says, I agree about the price of the tea, Leanne. Thank you, Maricel. We'll have to start, a, we'll have to start an expensive tea Facebook group uh, and see who wins. Um, Cindy's going to be looking at a paper pad differently now as well. Um, asking for some of those daisy designs and fabric. That sounds like a really good idea to me. Um, lots of people saying phenomenal prices. Uh, we did have a question, Debbie. Can you do the foil transfers in the midi? or the mini in that way? Very good question. Now, I've never tried it in the midi. I would say that you, because the difference there is, actually though, no, because that would be a cutting combination because that was my cutting combination in them. I would try it, I would give it a try. You might need to tweak it with a, sh uh, a, a shim, shim of cardstock in there, uh, but I would try it without first. Just use one of the small ones though. Don't be, do don't be doing a great big design. 
take one of the small pieces and try that because uh, or i could try it in between the break and then answer that question for you why don't we do that do you mind yeah. debbie no not at all shall we try it yeah i'll, I'll go and grab I it in a minute that. yeah Let's try it why not that's why i love crafters tv that's what we're here for you can ask us a question we'll go oh we're not sure we'll try it and we'll tell you the answer in the same show that's why we're fantastic i mean if we had another microphone we'd drop it i mean debbie we have dropped all of the microphones today. We have today. today. We really have. Um, I have to say, uh, lots of you are just really, really loving it. But Cindy wants to know, when you make the sandwich, <coughs> do you put the bottom plate, then the magnetic or the plastic plate first, then on the top plate? Okay. This is a personal thing. Because, because that magnetic shim, the whole reason behind it, and Leanne's here, so because Leanne was, uh, we've always talked about it being Leanne's legacy with the Gemini. It's very true. Um, being involved from that very start, from the original. Um, the magnetic shim is there to hold your dies in place. I personally like to see what I'm cutting into, so I don't. I have it the other way around, and I put my plate, my cardstock, the die facing down, because it needs to cut into the cutting plate, then the plastic shim, and I just use my magnetic shim as a shim. That's my personal choice. But if you were doing it and do it by the manual, the manual tells you you've got your plate, you've got your plastic shim, you've got your magnetic shim on the top, you put your die with the blade facing upwards because it's going to cut upwards into the other cutting plate, um, and then your cardstock on the top. It's a preference, it's a personal choice, and as long as you've got that shim somewhere in there, it doesn't really matter. So for me, um, that qu uh, that's my answer to the question. Yes. Leanne might have a different take on it. Yeah, yeah. and you know, I, I don't have a set way. It just depends what I've picked up and how I whack it down. <laughs> so I do... <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I love your honesty. <laughs> honest, that's, me, that's just me. I just do, as, as long as there are all the plates in there in the right order, I, I don't care. So it's, <laughs> it's up to you, however you feel more confident. It will work exactly the same both ways. There's personal preference, as Debbie said. However you feel most comfortable. If you like to see it because you're a bit nervous, do what Debbie suggested. Um, if you're a little bit more rogue, like me, you do it the other way. It's entirely up to you. As long as the plates are in there in the right order and your die is always facing into a cutting plate and into the material, it makes no odds whether it faces up or faces down or where it is in the hierarchy. As long as those are covered, you're good to go. Now, while Debbie's getting her little emboss in the midi transfer thing ready, why don't we have a look at this? Quite frankly, exceptional gadget for your test desktop. I love this. And oh. this was a this was a selfish make, Debbie. Was it? Yeah. I needed it, so I made it. <laughs> I love that. I, I love just that. I was like, hello, I need one. I'm having one. We're making one. Because I always lose my little dies. And I've got my favourites, like you, Debbie, like those odd little sentiment dies mm -hmm. that I can't live without. And it's my go-to. I go back to it time and again. I'm the same with a butterfly embellishment. I've got the odd word. I've got the odd little corner. There are just things that I cannot be without. This <coughs> magnetic stand goes together absolutely brilliantly to um, make the storage of your dies so easy. There we go. Come down. I'm just going right, to show you. So when you get it, it's fresh out the box. This is box fresh. So what you're going to do is really give those folds. And I'm showing you this when you get it home, just in case you're doing what I was doing there where you thought it wasn't going to stick together. Really make those folds um, bended. Is bended a word? So you're going to go, you're going to go forwards and backwards. And then when you put that together, it will stick. Okay. So then what you're going to do is use it to pop your dies on there. I think I need to do a little bit more folding. Isn't it? There it is there. There it is there. Found them. There's the magnets. There's the metal. There. And I just have to show you there. Ta -da! But, that, but the thing is there, showing people how to do it, because it happened to me. Do you know time I took my nap in my box, I were like, why can't I get it to stick together? It made it look so easy on telly. <laughs> And it was because of that. It was that You've reason. You fold the lines. You do, yeah. Fold the lines. <laughs> and then when they're all bendy, it'll go together. And then this entire front here is magnetic. Now, you're also getting this fabulous die um, in this little bundle that I'm showing you here. And this is one of our creator cards where we've got that hanging, dangling <gasps> element. So you've got the beautiful outer creator card frame. This 
lovebird duo is separate and then hangs off this little bit here so it makes them dangle however delete that just a beautiful floral um, wreath frame or just use these as a accent themselves they're completely separate dies and then you've got these brilliant cut in hello you and lovebirds cut into that space there or lay up however you want to use them you're getting that too so i'm not suggesting that these dies uh these die stands are for big dies like this but i want to show you how easy it is and how magnetic it is that it is so so usable it's actually for me i've just dropped one on the floor that's the reason why i've got mine leanne because i'm always dropping mine I'm on always the floor. dropping them on the floor and then i can't find them and these are the ones that i want to go back time and again having my magnetic stand where I can put all of the little dies on there that I go back to time and time again. I'm not having to rummage for them. I'm not putting them away in a storage binder where I have to think, oh, I want that die, get off my chair, go to my shelf, find the folder, get the folder, flick through the folder, <laughs> find the die, put the thing back, go back to me, cut the die, get up, go back, put it in my folder, put it on the shelf. Life is too short. Uh, and also, I don't do that because I'm not a good crafter. I go, I'll do that later, fling goes on the desktop in a pot or in a pile gets tidied up have to buy another one because it gets lost and i can't find it i just got very frustrated with my shabbiness and needed something to be able to store them and this does it very very well i think debbie it's always there it's on my desktop i can get to the little dies that i want and get to them quickly so you're getting this and that no, massive creator my card days. £6.39 or $7.99. That's price. just, I, I honestly, I've never seen a deal. I'm changing my mind about the star of the show. Isn't it good? Because that is phenomenal. And we sell, do you know those boards, those magnetic boards? We sell them every time we bring them to where they sell out. I can't believe that we're bringing it with the great big die like that, Leanne, yeah. for, for nothing. I know, it's incredible, isn't it? I need another one of those boards, by the way. Uh, do you know, I I've think I might three. have to do a little bit of a. Yeah, Shop bit, of, bit of shopping afterwards. Mm. I've got three of these because I've got a nested set that I got. My favourite nested set. I've got my favourite sentiments, my favourite butterflies. I've got my favourite border that I use all of the time, edgeable. Just the things that are my go-tos and they're just always there for you at your fingertips. I think it's great. Yeah. Phenomenal price. What is the saving, Nicola? I mean, it's quite frankly ridiculous. It's got to be. Is it 20? Is it 19.99 saving? What's that? 70? <gasps> Over 70% wow. saving. Over 70% saving for this huge creator card die set that we've got for you. Um, and then uh, <laughs> that little magnetic stand as well. It's, it's, a, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. Good. Yeah. That's a crazy deal. Such good value for money. And then it just comes back down again. And can I just give you another tip? Look, if you look here, can you see... I'm just going to show you there. If you just run your hand over, you'll feel two circle discs there. You might just be able... There, you can just see yeah, there. Yeah, you can see them. Can you see that there? I'll put my finger on it. You can just see it there, that shadow. That's what you're aiming for with this. And that's when it'll click in place uh, and stand up for you wow. perfectly. But do your bendy thing. Do your flex and bend when you get it out of the box and then it'll be perfect. And then it just falls away, goes in the box. If you don't need it but you will you will have it on your desktop you'll be thinking to yourself that is fantastic it'll never go back in the box and you'll also be saying to yourself why did i not buy two <laughs> because this is one of the most usable things i've ever had in my life and what a lovely gift to give to a friend who's a crafter because my, my one of my best friends linda we, we she was the one after the interview she'd always been trying to get me into crafting and then she came out of crafting herself she's just suddenly found a newfound love of crafting again um, and I've helped to get a, get it started all the friends have rallied around getting loads of bits and bobs to get herself started with I think I'm gonna buy her this <gasps> because nice. there's a fabulous die in there to you so I yeah. think I'm going to definitely buy it Isn't that a lovely gift? Yeah know what, it's a Debbie? lovely gift idea do you know I love that idea Debbie because that's a really thoughtful gift that she's going to be able to use and get a lot of use out of and it's better than a box of chocolates. It is more than, and yeah, and you know, some of the, have you seen some of the chocolates? You'd pay more for a box of chocolates? Uh, Mother's Day, I was looking to get some chocolates for my mum, uh, on top of a, a present. Oh, we're nearly full, and this is in Tesco's, Leanne. I know. All the supermarket brands are out there. Uh, but I nearly fainted, but I saw a price in a box of chocolates, they were more than a tenner. Crazy. Oh, well, what's going off in the world? Yeah, I've got a rule now in our house, I don't want a box of chocolates. If you buy me a box of chocolates, I'm going to be cross with you. I'll have a chocolate orange instead, £1.50. Yeah. Because it's just, it's, it's, 
just it's daylight rob they're just taking young people's money off them to like on mother's day where the chocolate's like that i would far rather have something made just a handmade card a little handmade gift a little thank you very much a bunch of daffodils do you know what i mean with something handmade i think it's so much nicer but a little gift like that that's usable and isn't going to break the bank is better than the commercialized boxes of chocolates and cards i just mm. think it's i don't i don't approve debbie i don't agree <laughs> Right, shall we, shall we put yes, this to the let's test? have a look. Because I'm not sure if this is going to work, so we're going okay. to try it. So I've put the adhesive um, part of it onto a piece of cardstock. You can see it there. I've got the midi out. I'm just going to close that folder because that would be the normal die-cutting folder. Um, so we'll see if there's enough pressure if that does that. If it doesn't, then I would say pop a piece of cardstock into it. I'll be able to tell in a second, and I'm only going to lift off a little part of it so that I can see if it's transferred on. Hey-ho. <laughs> There you, there's the answer to the question. Yes. Wow. Yes. Where, where are we? Are you ready? Drop the, drop the dye brush, Debbie. <gasps> drop that, that dye brush. Yes. Phenomenal. There you go. And then you'll just apply the same. Put your uh, foil over the top. If the adhesive works, then there's no way that this won't work. I can't see. And again, if you hey, may... Hey, Debbie, and you haven't shimmed that up, Debbie. No, I haven't shimmed it. I've just used it because I'm just thinking. I use my normal die-cutting combination on my plate on the, um, yeah. on the, on the electronic die-cutting machine. Uh, so let's have a look. <laughs> oh. Well, if it works, well, you learn something new every day. Do you know what? If it works in the midi, it's going to work in the mini. It is exactly going to do that. You le who was yes. that? Who asked us that question? I can't remember. I'll scroll I'll back. I'll tell you now, wherever you are, <laughs> thank you very I'll much. I'll scroll back. Thank you very much, because I didn't even know that. Um, and that's why we love being live and interactive with you guys, so that you can ask us those questions, we can solve those things for you, and tell you yes or no. Laurel. Laurel, there you go. Laurel Answer to your Enos. question. Yes, you can use your midi. Yes. Laurel Enos on Facebook. Thank you for asking the question, Laurel. Um, now, we have got now with Debbie uh, one of my all-time <laughs> favourites ever because I love a butterfly, I love a big butterfly, and I love it when you can use it in several different ways. Oh, and that's I, what you've got, Debbie. Bold Butterflies by the gorgeous Sheena Douglas. Yeah. Who, can we say, happy 60th birthday for Saturday. She I didn't did. realise she shared the same birthday as my sister. Oh. So, my sister's not 60, and though. Man, she was 54. Looking gorgeous. She looks amazing. Isn't she? I want to look that good at 60. I mean, she looks that good. She's on fire. I know. She like, looks fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Sheena, honestly, these beautiful, bold butterflies are equally as beautiful as you. No. They are one of me, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you've got different size butterflies in there that you can use just as your stamps. Mm -hmm. The fact that we've brought dies into it where you can cut on the left or cut on the right or cut the full solid piece out, again, giving you lots of creativity. And then the, even the smaller dies, sorry, the smaller stamps have got them. And then there's some sentiments in there. Uh, so that is your peacock uh, butterfly. Then you've got the... <sighs> I love it. Red Admiral Butterfly. I love a Red Admiral. Absolutely stunning. The same thing, big butterfly stamp, two smaller ones there. The dies to create, all the sentiments. It's a one-stop shop for your card making because it's all there in one go for you. Oh, my life. The uh, Monarch Butterfly, beautiful. And then lastly... <sighs> I do love the swallowtail butterfly, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, all four different sizes of butterflies on there. Lots of ways that you can use them as well. Um, if you remember, we did the craft along Thursday, 25th of January, for anybody asking. Anyone who thinks I've got a brilliant memory? I haven't, I wrote it on the back. Uh, because... <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> you could have got I, away with that, Debbie. I could have. I could have made myself you sound really amazing then. That I've got, got a fantastic that. memory. Uh, but we did that craft along, and I had a lot of shares for that craft along. Let me tell you. But lots of ways that you are going to be able to use them. The fact that they've got this part of the die that cuts out on the right hand side or the left hand side means you can have it as a, a creator card, an art creator card, um, and that's what I absolutely adore about them. Now, Every can I just one say as well, Debbie? I don't know if everybody knows this, but actually, uh, Sheena has done these from the actual butterfly markings. Oh. So that is an actual monarch, an actual red admiral, an actual... And then the drawing is of the actual mark. So it's not a, oh, that looks like a pretty butterfly. I'm going to illustrate one and make it my own. 
because I have, they are actual physical representations of the markings of butterflies. Wow, didn't they, know that. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, you know, I'm telling you right now, powers that be, <laughs> she's got to come over here more often because <laughs> I absolutely love this. I feel like I've been educated <laughs> so much today. We've been bringing you brilliant bargains, some amazing deals, even throwing in some crafty inspiration for you. And that's what I'm going to do in a second. Um, but I can see, Leanne, you've got something over there. Do you want to share with that? No, you, you crack on. Are you sure? Demo. Yeah, you crack oh, on. Oh, fabulous, Debbie. fabulous. Because actually I've brought in a couple here. Um, now, I'm just going to stamp first. I am going to use the um, Red Admiral. What did I do with that butterfly then? Oh, I knew it fell off. There it is. It flew away. Uh, I'm going to use the big one. So I'm going to bring out this big piece. And it really is a statement butterfly, this one. Absolutely beautiful um, i'm going to use my stamping platform only because it's a bigger piece so stamping platform again <sighs> tools that you need in your life this is one of them what did i do with the ink pad hmm oh it's there you got I, knew it. I, I knew i got it out i just couldn't remember what i'd done with it my granddaughter edie calls them fluff flies a what fly fluff fly Oh, she go. Oh, fluff fly. Oh, little sweetheart. Does she like them? Do your grandkids like them? Oh, she loves butterflies. Yeah, mine do because um, my children don't. They. No, um, my sister Marielle. She will run a mile, like the clappers. Yeah. She, she, she does a forest gump when she sees a butterfly. <laughs> she just keeps running. She's literally here, Wah! and then she's off. What? Whereas I, I would go gladly into, and I don't like hot spaces, but it's got to be warm and tropical. Yeah. Um, and I make a beeline for all the butterfly houses. When I love we're, it. When, I love them. Yeah, I absolutely me too. love them. They're beautiful creatures. They really are, and I love them flying around. Uh, look at that, beautifully cut out, and it really is. Uh, sorry, stamped out. Uh, to do the cutting out, though, it's very, very simple because you're just going to use the dies that are on the other side, and you decide whether you're going to use one side or both sides. Um, if you are going to use both sides, and I'll, I will show you, when you pop this down, you, I per personally prefer to do one at a time. Me because too. they were designed to work as a cutout. Independently, But you've yeah. got, yeah, but, so if you're going to do it this way, we're going to run this through really quickly, because uh, time is upon us, my days, where has that two hours gone, Liam? Do you know, I've had the best two hours, Debbie. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Well, so have I. I want to to work with you more ben i do love you i'm just going to say it again i do love you Aww, but it's nice that you go away mutual. so we get this yeah, this opportunity <laughs> now this is a straightforward die there's no intricacies so we're going to take one of the shims out which is the magnetic shim and we're just going to run that through longevity of your plates you will get the most if you think about your die think about your platform think about all of those um factors the fact that we've got stronger plates anyway is just fabulous absolutely fabulous but uh, look at your dies that's what I say whenever you're looking at these kind of things look at your dies and f to be fair the speed in which this goes through the die and obviously it's a quicker die cutting machine if you've got the die um, Gemini 2 now it's much easier to do it this way one by one pop that in stick it down run it through cut out your beautiful butterfly and uh, you've got a real statement piece and uh, i'm loving the fact that these are based on real butterflies i yeah. love that love that and then if we just take this out oh nicholas just said what is that <laughs> in my ear yeah. she would like everyone to comment and say what what your favorite leanne tip has been today was it I the think paper for pad? me was it the butterflies i think for me leanne it was the paper pads the paper pads. you see my mouth it dropped open it did, it did. <laughs> i'm like what i know <laughs> <laughs> didn't have no idea uh, that's cut the beautiful butterfly out i've just fantasized mine so i've used some of our tri blends and added a little bit of gel pen onto there um, to create a little bit of a mystical fantasy look um and even though it is the and i did use the um red admiral for this one um but again using those stamps i've got a lovely uh, stamp piece i use the um blush shimmer ink pad nice. in the floral elegance to create these little butterfly pieces and i didn't want to cut any out so i just wanted to literally stick this down and have it as a little backdrop mm -hmm. i also used and I, i'm it's almost like a shameless plug here but they're on the show 
I use the charming butterflies. Do you know the um, scattered borders yeah. and uh, bo borders and uh, corner dies? I've them. used some of those into this because I thought butterflies, they're going to work so well together. Um, so again, let me just pop this down onto the corner piece. And I'm just going to add that into this corner. Make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Um, I've got myself a couple of little tabs on there that I've used from that butterfly. Again, I'm just going to add into the centre and I'm going to have it literally floating sideways. And then I'm just going to take off the foam pad. And again, all I've done here is just given them a little fancy shape. Enjoy the little things we'll take at the top on your special day. And that's what I love. It's like a one-stop shop of everything you need to create a card. Let's see if I can get that off there. And I'm just going to put that across the bottom. And then on my inside, Leanne, because I do like my insides to look as nice on the outside, you know, as the outside. Mm -hmm. Just stamped one of the sentiments, put the border, and that. that's going to sit into the centre. But I am conscious time is running away with us. So again, that'll go into there. And then you've got a beautiful, beautiful. finished card, start to finish. And I that's really one love set. that. And you know, I like to pay attention to the inside of a card as much as yeah. I do the outside. I think it, it takes it from homemade to handmade Debbie yes. doesn't it it really does elevate yeah. it a little bit um, look one quick other thank you Debbie one quick other deal I've got for you before we disappear are these cut in sentiments um, and I do want to just squish them in for you at the end here because I really love these I think they're fantastic um, at just being able to convey a message very quickly and for using your scraps of scrapbook paper because you can cut in your sentiment and then just put a little script up here and that card's done you don't even need to do anything else they cut in so you can see that there so they will work as a creator card they'll also cut out and create a layering panel for you and then you've got all of the sentiments that go with so you've got um just for you with all our love best wishes are sent because you're the best so you've got some complimentary sentiments there we've got the celebrate option we've got the with love option and we've got the my friend option you're getting all of those we're getting all of those for 7.99 i was gonna go we're getting all of those for 20 pounds but no for 7.99 or 10.39 well you need them in your life and then look how you can use them we can do them as a fab little shaker element if we want to we can do it as a lovely little stepper card we can use that die because it's a cut in in several different places on a card we can use them as cut-ins in several places and use our inks if we want to use it with our pretty scrapbook papers use do your different folds cut in use acetate behind do it in a more subtle way if that's what you want to do do it so you cut through both layers of the card and so therefore that sentiment look I must just turn that on and show you that sentiment goes through the entire card so it cuts through two layers too and then do some paper piecing pop it in the center of a card pop it at the top of a card use your fold backs make it so it's a see-through aperture do a little bit of black card on there so it's got a lovely accent make it really simple if you want to use it vertical instead of horizontal if you want to the possibilities with these are endless it conveys the sentiment and leaves you the space to be able to use all of your other little crafty things that you've got at home you're getting all four of those sets for 7.99 or 10.39 i've had an absolute blast I have to say, uh, before we start telling you about all of the little bits and bobs that we need, we need to have a look at what Debbie's made in the show. We need to vote. Oh, don't no, we, we don't do, we don't do, do we voting. Vote? No, we don't do voting anymore. All I wanted to show you was a <gasps> little bit different for a craft fault. We've, bought, we've brought in some inspiration well, for I'm you. I'm going to vote, Debbie. Oh, oh bless you. I'm well, I, would, I wouldn't want to choose because I, I love making every single one of them. I tried to keep them quite punchy and quick um, just because of the speed of a craft fault and the amount of deals that we have to get in there um this was my number one using those beautiful half creator cards number two using the fabulous um um uh, rub on transfers number three making me little box and number four not gonna lie but that's my favorite uh, <coughs> because it's got butterflies number four would right. be my personal we're choice. gonna have a vote nicola what's your favorite one for nicola jamie one because oh. of cosmic. Debbie, what's your favourite? Number four because of the butterflies. Number four because of the butterflies. I'm the Len Goodman or the <laughs> Shirley Ballas. 
of this conversation, which means I get to say the winner. <laughs> it's a tiebreaker. It's like the final of Strictly Come Dancing. And the winner is... <laughs> Number four. Yay! And you know, it's probably because I went there. Yeah. Because I probably went with the inside as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. Debbie, thank you so much for spending this two hours with me and for all that beautiful inspiration we've had in thank this you. spring event. I really appreciate it. Um, it is the spring craft vault that we've got for you brand new deals in there all of the deals available are much cheaper than you'd be able to buy them individually on the website please go shop your favorites take advantage of those um, sales and we'll see you back soon so uh, enjoy the rest of the day whatever you're doing and make sure you take advantage of that fantastic spring deals that we've got for you